Alright, it's time for a quick tip for DaVinci Resolve. And today we're taking a look at something that bothers people even like Gerald and Dunn, who's crazy. So, how do we import images into DaVinci Resolve but not as a sequence instead of single images? Let's take a look. Alright, so what you want to do... Alright, so what you're trying to do is to import a bunch of pictures all right, so what you're trying to do is to import a bunch of pictures into Resolve, but you don't want them as a sequence. So let's say that you have something like this, which is a sequence of pictures, and they are named in a very similar manner. As you can see, I have broken the sequence by renaming a couple of them to show you what's happening. So one of the ways to import pictures into Resolve or any kind of media is do it through the media panel, and that's the one that we're right now. So let's take a look at this. This is the same folder, and as you can see, some of the pictures are grouped. So these two are the ones that I did rename, but the rest of them are shown here as sequences. And if I import it, or try to drag and drop in here, it's imported as a sequence. If you try to drag and drop from the folder externally, let's say that I select this bunch here, and I drag them all, they're also imported as a sequence. And then, if you try to place these things in the timeline, they are placed as a sequence, or as a video of their own, as you can see. Not a very useful feature if what you were trying was to import single pictures. So how do we do this? Let me remove this, and then the solution is very, very easy. We just go here to these three dots, and click in Show Individual Frames. And that's it. Now we see all separate frames, and we can drag them either one by one, or select a bunch, and do the same. It's as easy as that. Another workaround is to use the folder itself, but then drag them one by one. Now check that even if I had selected the in select individual frames, if I pick a sequence from the folder and drag it here, it's imported as a sequence. But if I import the files one by one, they are imported one by one. So this would be the second workaround. And now you have seen how this works. And notice that now that they are single images, when I put them into the timeline, they are five second clips of a one static image. So it was as easy as that. Well, we're done for today. If you liked the video or find it useful, please like and subscribe, and let me know in the comments if you would like to know something else from DaVinci Resolve. Let's see if we can make it into a quick tip. And we'll see you soon for some more content.